Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. Uh, I'm here today with another Take 5 challenge. That is the challenge set by Miss Paint a lot over on her Facebook group. Uh, we take five things chosen at random by Miss Paint a lot with Fiona and we make whatever we're tasked to make for that week. So this week we have to make a pocket and the five things we need to use are a doily, check, <laughs> a sticker, I've got some stickers, a charm, I don't know what charm I'll use, this one was lying about on my desk which is a little rose, it may get used, it may not, I may delve into my other charms, some washi tape, I've got my little box of washi and an envelope. Now I'm going to do this two ways today. I've got an envelope that I'm going to use and what this is, is a CD envelope. Yeah, you know when everyone was decorating those paper ones? Well, I went and ordered these and then I never used them. <laughs> They're just craft card ones. Yeah. Now, I know not everybody wants to go and buy these, but looking at this, it's very simple to make, isn't it? So do you know what? I've got a piece of craft card here. I'm going to make one. Yeah. So I'll take you through my process of making envelopes. Now, this one should be easy, haha, <laughs> she says, because I've got an envelope to use as a template. So I'm going to start by measuring this envelope and jotting down the measurements. I will get my uh, yeah, post-it notes out. So, right, this is going to measure a little bit bigger than a CD, I'm guessing. What about you? Do you think that? Yeah. So it's nearly five inches wide. So I'm not going to do it the exact size. I'm going to say, mm, let's make it four and a half. So we're going to do it four and a half inches wide. And I'm going to do it four and a half inches tall, shall we? Yeah. Do it four and a half by four and a half. Yeah. So I'm not going to cut my paper to four and a half. Because if you look, we've got these little bits that need to fold in. So on this, they happen to be half an inch wide. So yeah, I'm going to make mine what half an inch wide. So I'm going to cut my piece of card to four and a half inches wide plus another half inch for either side. So my card's going to be five and a half inches wide. Now the height, I'm going to need to get the flap, the back and this front piece. So we know the back's going to be four and a half. The front piece is not quite as high, so let's call it three and a half. So I'm adding together four and a half for the back, three and a half for the front, and I'm going to do my flap whatever length we've got left when I cut this. So if you followed that, you did. If you didn't, buy some of these. <laughs> so let's get the long trimmer out. I'm going to start by knocking the small trimmer on the floor, you heard that, and I'm going to cut my piece of paper to five and a half inches wide. Yeah. I've not had a go at this, I've not done my own prototype yet, so it, it could go a bit wrong. So... That's five and a half inches wide. We can see there's a bit of a curve on that. I'm not going to worry too much about that yet, but I'm going to get my scoreboard out next. I'm going to score this piece of card where we're going to want to bend it. So I'll get my big one out because I'm using a long piece of card. Grab my scoring tool. So we said the front wants to be three and a half inches. Are we in shot? Yeah. So I'm going to score at three and a half inches. Doesn't look very. Oh yeah, I know. I've... I'm thinking this looks very wide compared to how deep it is, but we've got the extra on, haven't we, for these folding flaps? Silly woman. And then the back wants to be four and a half inches. So half inches takes us to four. And then it takes us to eight. So I'll score there. I'm not going to worry too much about the fold over flap. We might do a longer one, eh? We might not. 
and then I'm going to turn it sideways and I'm going to score half an inch from each side. I'm going to do a very light score down the bits that I'm going to have to cut off because I really just need a mark to cut along and then I'm going to make a deep score here where I need to fold it in. I'm going to do the same on the other side and because I find it awkward getting there I'm going to do it like that. So oh, we forgot to do the light score at half inch there didn't we? So can you see how awkward I find it to do this edge? So a light score there where I'm cutting off just something for my scissors to follow a deep score here where I want to keep that as a fold over flap and then a light score you can't see this bottom bit but I trust you I'm doing a light score the rest of the way down so there we have our piece of card all scored up ready to make one of these envelopes and I'm gonna be I'm gonna use scissors today yeah this should be good I'm in daylight so I can actually see the lines much better so I'm going to take off I'm cutting just along my light score line to take these bits off I've not gone quite to the end with my big chompy scissors I'm going to come in with my littler scissors just to do the last bit but I'm using my big chompers because I can cut straighter lines I'm okay cutting straight lines with something to follow So yeah, I'm going, just going up to the crease nearly. I know this is a bit different to the usual take fives I do. But yeah, I wanted to make something. So I've just got my smaller scissors now just to finish cutting right up to the crease. Yeah, it's a bit more precise. I'm going to do that on all four. Yep. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, which is my top, which is top, which is bottom, do you know? Because I didn't cut the flap down, I'm not quite sure which one measures three and a half. Ooh, that one measures just over three and a half, so this must be the three and a half one yeah so on the one where it measured three and a half at the bottom i'm just going to come in and cut across at an angle we won't see that don't need to be pretty yeah on the one where we will see the top can you see this we'll see that top i'm going to cut it straight along and then i'm going to round it with my corner rounder use your small scissors woman so we're just emulating the shape of that CD envelope and this way we don't have to shell out for CN CD envelopes, we can just make it from an A4 or letter size sheet of paper. So before I go folding, I'm going to need to I'll fold that up or down, then I can get my corner rounder in to round that off. I'm going to use the big one, if you don't have a corner rounder just draw around something circular as always there's always a work round if you don't have the tools we don't have to buy every tool known to man i know i've got every tool known to man but i've been buying them for 20 years i don't expect you to go out and buy 20 years worth of things to do my videos so i'm now going to come in with my bone folder and i'm going to crease all my score lines the flaps first I'm going to fold these over and crease these you might find you need to come in and do some trimming after you've done this scoring you'll see what I mean now can you see as I've creased that that sticks out a bit and I don't want it sticking out a bit so I'm just going to get my chompy scissors and take another sliver off that edge 
it's just something that commonly happens when you crease things. If you often crease things, you'll know exactly what I mean. And this side needs a sliver off. Right. So this is our fold up at the bottom. Can you see we're starting to look like this CD envelope now? Yeah. It's a little bit smaller, but don't matter. We're not putting CDs in it, are we? Yeah, if you want to put a CD in it, make it a bit bigger. <laughs> and that's our fold down. Do you know, I think I like that fold down being long. I really think I do. But for what I want to do next, I'm going to need a bit more room. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it like this right next i want to do this now i don't have a circle punch that big i don't think anyone does oh i've just noticed those sides are rounded as well so i'm going to grab my corner rounder and round those off i'm going to use my biggest 10 mil one there we go yeah i just like that look of that it makes it look good so I'm going to grab something circular and draw around it to get that shape. So I'm looking around my room. I do have a mug where it's got tea in it, which I'll have a sip of. Yum. <laughs> While I look. Oh, I've got a big roll of packing tape here. This will do. Yeah. So I'm going to use my big roll of packing tape. Unfold it while I do it. And I'm just going to... I'm going to have to do this upside down so I can see. No, I'm going to have to do it that way. Right? <laughs> oh, woman, stop it. That way, that's it. I need it that way around so I can see. So I'm just going to eyeball it to see whether it looks straight. She says, trying to line it up on a grid. Mm, that looks, I just want the gap at either side even. Yeah, I think I like that. So I'm just going to take my pencil now and draw around it. Hold that still. Yeah, that looks good to me. And I'm just going to draw around that, or even cut around it, with my scissors. So, I mean, you don't have to do this bit at all. You could do a notch with... If you've got a die do it with that you could do it if you've got a ginormous punch but i don't the biggest i've got i do have bigger than most i've got a two and a half inch one but i've done this much deeper than on the cd envelope as well but it don't matter nobody knows there we go so i've just done that i'm going to rub off the little pencil lines that i've got left right and now i know how deep that flap needs to be it's got to cover this hasn't it so i'm looking at round about there so i'm going to pop a pencil line on and i'm gonna i've got to get trimmer out for this i, I really can't be cutting complete straight lines without a guide to follow with me yeah with my scissors come here little trimmer do you remember I knocked it over? I'm going to have to grab it now with Granny Grabber because it's gone right under my desk. And I don't fit under my desk. Here we go. Oh, that went Granny Grabber falling over. I'm a bit of a disaster today, aren't I? So I'm just going to trim that off there. As you can see, mine's not exactly the same, but it's near enough. Isn't it? It's near enough. I think we're getting the same effect. I like it a bit smaller as well. Now, they are tapered in. I'm not going to taper mine. I don't want to. But I am going to round my corners. One. Two. Now I'm going to turn this into something else. I am going to put on some button string closures. And do you know what I'm going to use to do them? Because we're always using these fancy chopper dial chopper dials, that's a new one. I don't think I've called it a chopper dial before. I've called it a chomper dial, a cromper dial. 
it's actually a crocodile. Tanya calls it a crocodile. I've, I've got my tools out here. I'm going to use my first ever hole punching tool. That's that. I've got my hammer. And yeah, I'm going to use the tool that rounds the eyelets. You don't need, you just don't need every tool known to man. This were a last minute decision, by the way. Can you see? That's why I don't have my tools. Yeah, this came as a little set. You get all these ends to swap to use for different size eyelets. And yeah, before you go spending 40 quid on a crocodile, think how often will you use that crocodile? I managed quite well putting eyelets in for over 10 years before I bought one. But then I started to make a lot of mini albums where I needed to chomp through chipboard. So yeah, I bought the crocodile. But this is the set I used to use. So one makes you whole and the other one bends over the eyelet. And I'll show you how this works. Right, let's put some dots on where we're going to want to put. It's even things like this, a centering ruler. Yeah, they're very handy, but you can do it with any other ruler. I'm using my centering one. And I'm using it on the wrong side. So, fat lot of good that were to me. We know it's four and a half inches wide, so we know that the centre is two and a quarter inches, don't we? We do, we know this. So I'm going to go up about half an inch and I'm going to put a dot and then I'm also going to go down about half an inch and put another dot a bit more than half an inch this actually and put another dot and that's where I'm going to punch my holes now I did have a tiny little mat that I used to use here it is you know when I don't want to put holes in my big mat I got this one. This were a couple of pounds from the range in the UK. So I've got my little hammer. You can use any hammer. Just nick your husband's hammer if you want. Don't tell him I said so though. And I'm going to bang. We'll do it twice just to make sure. There you go. Oh, it didn't, it's quite a thick card. I need one more bang. Sorry about the noise. Another reason I don't use this on video. Should have warned you about noise, shouldn't I? And then I'm going to do that there. You can even get other like spring loaded things. Right, that's that's it. I've put my holes in. No crocodile required. Sort of. So let's grab some eyelets. They were not on the list of five things, but like I've said before, you can use anything you want in addition to the five things. So, I'll get one spare out just in case something goes belly up. So, and then, what I would, when I've cut my circles, I will use this, I would use this to splay out the back. So, let's grab some circles. I'm not cutting any because, as you know, I have a box full of ready-made circles. And if I keep cutting new ones, I'm never going to use them up, am I? And I know I've got some cut from Craft Card. She says, she says, have I? I haven't got any cut from that colour Craft Card, have I? So I am going to be cutting some circles. Grab my circle punch. I'm going to use this bit that we cut off. It's quite a thick card, so I'm only going to do one circle. Yeah, it doesn't need to be any thicker. And do you know, we could another thing you could do, you could use brads. Yeah. You know, the uh, wide leg brads. You don't even need to put eyelets in. I prefer eyelets though, because things don't get caught on the inside as much. So let's put some holes in this. I'm, I'm going to save your ears and I'm, I'm going to put the holes in this using my crocodile. Yeah, they're not really good for late night crafting them, are they? Although I never had a problem because my next door neighbour's a crafter. Well, she was. I now have different next door neighbours. But 
They're always so worried about the kids being noisy. I don't think they mind me making noises. We've got weird houses anyway. You don't hear sounds at night. It's very well insulated walls. She's always worried I can hear her shouting at kids or kids being noisy. And it honestly don't bother me. So if you're watching Lauren, it don't bother me. Honestly, it does not. It makes me laugh when I think how much noise mine used to make. So that's that. I'm going to put another little circle on the underneath as I usually do. It's still my preferred method. It just gives you a little bit more room to get your string underneath. So I'll try and chop these this way around. I'm going to cut the hole first and then I'm going to try and line this up round. Didn't do that bad. I've opted for the bigger ones here as well because it'll also help strengthen my button. And I'm just going to pop these on with a little bit of cosmic shimmer. Yeah, I had a little bit of a disaster with my <laughs> camera setup. Well, no disaster. Luckily, nothing broke. It all fell down. And <laughs> yeah, it just fell down. And I can't quite get it back in that same position. So I am doing my crafting in the position I normally would. And the camera angle is not quite right. So I do apologise if I keep going off. And you can't see what I'm up to. I've not put the holes properly in the middle of these buttons. So they're not going to be perfect. But we can live with them, can't we? Right. Prepare your ears again. Because I'm going to come in. And I'm going to make a noise with my hammer. So I've popped my button on, popped the eyelet through, and I've got the end on that splays this out. And I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> I've been telling you how fabulous this is, and I've gone and done it, and it's not through the card. So let's throw that one over there a minute. We'll try it again. Silly woman. I'll just take the aisle out of that. This is why I got a spare one out. Right, I need to hold this down. When I do it, that's better. Can you see now? And now I can continue. Sorry about the noise, people. Now it started to splay out and watch. I'm going to do the rest with my hammer. There you go. And there we have one eyelet in place. So as you can see, you don't need fancy tools. Right, you've seen me do one. So I'm going to get the eyelet out of this. You've seen me do this before when things have gone wrong, haven't you? I just squish that up and then it'll pull back through. With my pliers. So yeah, you've seen me do one, so I'm going to do the other one with the quiet crocodile. So there are some advantages, but don't think because you don't have a crocodile, you've got to go out and spend 40 quid. Those little sets you can get for about five, six pound on Amazon. So there we have it. Our CD envelope with the button string closure. I think we ought to go ahead and decorate it now and fulfil the criteria of the challenge. <laughs> now I've gone off on world's biggest tangent, showing you how to use those. Right, they're back away in my drawer so I don't lose them. So now we've got those in, I'm going to, excuse me, I don't know if that's a hiccup or what, I'm going to have a drink of tea. I'm going to glue these up. I'm going to put the glue on here, yeah, because I don't want to go too high on there. So, if I glue this side, that's not going to happen. Right, you know what? If you pop your ruler on, yeah, you know you can go up to your ruler then and you're still going to be okay. That was just one of them things I thought of in the moment. We need to do the same at this side. Oh, that's quite a good trick, that. Well, 
what's that uh, saying? Necessity is the mother of all invention. Yeah. Find a need for something and then invent it. I'm just clearing owl on my glue. I don't know why it clogged up. It's ready for refilling, actually. There's not an awful lot in. That's better. I'm using far less glue using that little bottle. I'm just going to spread that out because I think I've got a bit too much on that side. And then I'm going to put some of it on that side where I didn't get as much. Right. Then fold that up. This is where I'd normally stick it under something heavy for a while. I'd normally like tuck one end under my mat and then put a box on there. But I'm going to come in and do it with my bowl bowl folder a bowl folder never seen a bowl folder never felt need for a folded bowl so i guess that's why no one invented it <laughs> bowl folder so there we have it now so there we've got our own little homemade craft card cd envelope yeah i like it so what I've been doing is I've been putting the holes in there, but now I've made my own, so I'm going to move that one out of the way. Right, let's get on with decorating. Right, the reason I decided to do something like this on this one is the decorating criteria this week is not, we can be quite minimalistic with it. So let's tick. We've got the envelope now, we just made it. <clears throat> and as far as a pocket goes I'm calling it a pocket envelope and you could stick it in your book on three sides and pop something in there you go pocket done so we now need to decorate with a doily a sticker a charm and some washi tape so let's crack on I did get a couple of doilies out and they're now buried under all these things on my desk that I've been using doilies where have you gone here we go. I got these green ones out. I thought they'd go really nice with the craft. These were um, Dove Craft. I don't know if you can still get these. Uh, they used to be the Dove Craft range of crafting supplies in Sainsbury's in the UK. And I remember a couple of years ago, I think this, this they changed the range or stopped it. I don't know which. And they, they had them in loads in really cheap. So I've got loads. I don't know why I'm going to the middle for one, I really don't. And I could have peeled one off the top. It's a bit like when I'm shopping. <laughs> I'm not taking the thing up front. I want from front middle or front back. There we go. So that's our one doily. So do you know what? I'm just gonna put a little bit of doily on the corner. Do you know I could have put this on before putting the hole in, couldn't I? But I were too engrossed in showing you how to do that and i don't know where to put my diet yeah i'm just going to put a bit across corner jobs are good and sorted if you watch my recent hardcover junk journal video you'll see that that was a very minimalistic when it came to the decorating and i'm in a minimalistic mode still i think i'm just going to pop a few of these little bits out of the doily that didn't this is like when you die cut your own and you have to go poking all these out. Oh, die cutting doilies. Don't really like it. So I'm then going to I might wrap this over at back. Yes. If I wrap this over at back, it eliminates the dodgy edges. Dodgy edges. So I'm just gonna fold the doily like that. Yep. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm not obviously going to keep it all on. Because that would be very wasteful. I now know which piece I want. And I will keep... I want to keep two edges. <laughs> I don't want to keep this, uh, this quarter. I'm going to cut that quarter out. I know what I'm doing, even if you don't. <laughs> And hopefully it'll all become clear. Right, so that, I can use that on something else. So I can use that on something more flat and less 3D as a corner. But to make this look nice and finished off, I'm doing that. 
yeah then if you don't glue this down as a pocket you've got the bit of doily on both sides haven't you so yeah i know what i'm doing even if you don't i'm also just gonna take another sliver off there i didn't cut it quite on the crease yep sorted and i'm gonna come in and bob some glue on i don't need it all glued down i don't need to cover the whole thing in glue I'm just going to get into these edges to make sure the edges down nicely. And I'm going to put a bit along these. And then just a tiny squiggle there. And then I'm going to pop it on. Check the fold. Sure, I just did my belly rumble. There we go. And I'm going to do this with my bone folder to smooth it. You can see the glue through a little bit. Very thin, these doilies. Smooth that out. There we go. And then I'll come in and glue the back a little bit in the same way. So you don't have to stick this down to a page because I think I've fulfilled the pocket and envelope criteria because it's a pocket envelope. Da -da. <laughs> Fiona might have other ideas, I don't know. I like to stretch her definitions sometimes. I need to cut a little it's sliver off found that. On the web. Alexa, stop. I really don't want Alexa's input today. I don't know why she's browsing web. I didn't ask her to. I've stuck those down it wrong order. I'm going to peel that off. I need to stick this one down first, the smaller one. Because I want it to look pretty on both sides. That's it. The smaller one first. I need to put a bit more glue on here now because I've gone peeling it off. I didn't really want to put a doily in here, but it said I had to. <laughs> oh, there we go. Do you know, for some reason today I'm quite nervous because I've got my COVID jab later and there's no need to be nervous. It's a jab. Yeah. My friend's coming to pick me up at ten past four. And yeah. So bit time you see this video, I will, I will have already had it. Right, so there, we've just got a little bit of a doily on the corner. I'm going to grab some washi tape now. And I don't know which one I'm going to use. And I've got, this is my sticker tub. I buy these stickers and then I don't use them. <coughs> Excuse me, don't know what happened to my voice there. I've got some here that are... Are they all clocks and the musical instruments? I don't know why it then has a watch on front. I think that's probably why I never use them because they're never actually what they say. No, I don't like them. I've got a washi sticker at the bottom here that I like. That's a clock. Might put that on there. Oh, I've got a much bigger one there. I can't fit it on now because I've already done my button string thing, haven't I? I could put that on the other side. I had some mushrooms, never used them. I've got some tickets. They're a bit shiny for me, so I've never used them. These are all things I used to buy random off AliExpress, and now I don't tend to buy so much randomness off there. Oh, I like that one better, that clock. That's lovely, that clock. I like that. So... That's my sticker criteria fulfilled. And I'm just going to put some random washi tape on. I'm loving the random washi tape look these days. Let's get some string first and put, fasten that flap down because it's starting to get a bit annoying, isn't it? Right. I've got my fine jute twine here. Do I? 
I want to use jute twine. No, I don't. I want to use wax linen thread. It's a little bit thinner. And I, yeah, I like the colour better. So I'm just gonna don't don't be too tight with it, woman. Leave yourself enough to tie it. You've made that mistake before. So I'm just wrapping it around the top button on the flap. Tie it once, then I'll come in and tie it again, and then I'll just snip it off. Use the smaller scissors for snipping. Just snip it right at the edge, so you don't see that end. But because we've got two knots, it's going to stay. So I'll come in, we'll do the figure eight wrapping. Two or three times round. And then I'm going to cut it off with a tail. Well, these scissors are getting a bit blunt. They've been well used. I've had these about two years. I've used them for everything. The Tim Altz, uh, are they the seven inch ones? Yeah. <clears throat> You've probably seen me use them in every video I've done. Right, that's that. So, do I want to, I want to put the clock on the doily? I really do. So, let's see if we can get back off this little thing. I wanted to put some washi tape on before I put clock on. <laughs> so we've got a clock, we've got a doily, we've got, could we use the numbers? No, I'm going to use this pretty one. You don't really have a theme, this. Yeah, this pretty one, it's got, I think I'd call it, I don't know. Oh, some are upside down. I think I'd call it botanical steampunk. <laughs> yeah, I would. And it's got some little quotes on. Do you know what? I'm not even going to cut it. I'm going to rip it. I'm going to go for that ripped look. I will like those glasses on. I want to keep the glasses on. And I think I want to keep that other, no, I'm going to rip straight after the glasses. That's going back on my roll to be used another time. And I'm just going to pop this here. It's got a fern, it's got a little quote. I'm going to burnish it down with my bone folder. The quote says, and every fair with his fair does rehearse making a couplement of proud compare with sun and moon no idea what that means it sounds very intelligent and then i'm going to pop my little clock there i'll stick a charm on it and i'm done well hey can't get the backing off this sticker. I might have to pause. I think this could be reason 26 why I don't use these stickers. I just really don't want to come off. I'll put some, uh, I'll put some music on. <laughs> I did a video recently didn't I where I used some stickers and everyone was so amazed at how well I did getting the backing off. And this one is just not behaving for me. It's not behaving. I'm put that away. I'm not using that. Mm. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my botanical ones back out and use one of them. I think they'll go better now I've chosen this washi tape. So, yeah, let's grab some botanical stickers. <laughs> that clock, we're not having it, were it? Just weren't. Right, ooh. Oh. There's a reason for everything in life, isn't there? Isn't there? That clock did not go as well as that rose. And because the charm I had on my desk was a rose, it's then going to be perfect. See? Everything happens for a reason. I firmly believe that. So let's peel this one off. These are the ones I managed to do quite easily. So let's see. If I can do them quite easily again. Or maybe I'm just having a bad sticker peeling day. Come 
bad stick peeling there. I can't do it. I can't do it. Here we go. Done it. Yeah. Not as easy as I did them last time. So I'm going to use my same method. I peel a bit back. Then I cut the acetate off. Then I can place my sticker exactly where I want. I want to still see those spectacles. So I'm going to put my rose. I like roses looking a bit sideways. So we'll see some of the spectacles. Oh, these have got white backings rather than the clear see-through ones. I didn't know that about these. I suppose it's going to show up more, isn't it? So... I think I would have inked it round first, I don't know, but I didn't know, so I didn't ink it. Let's see how well it disappears into the background when I burnish it. Where's my favourite bone folder? Oh, it disappears some, but not a lot. We can live with that. We've got white on the washi tape. I'm still liking it. I quite like that. I like that. Look at that. It's one of my less is more creations. And what's the betting that I've lost that little rose that we're hanging about on my table under all this rubbish? What What's the chance of? Of course I've lost it. Of course I've lost it. I were making some little dangles for my shop with little roses on. That's why I ended up having one abandoned rose on my desk. I'm just going to have a little rummage. It may be here, it may not. I can't find it. So I'll tell you what, let's grab the box of dangles I were making for my shop. And I'm going to steal a rose. Let's... Is that a rose? That's not a rose. That's a flower. Roses are now becoming very elusive. Where are they? This must be so interesting for you. Here we go. I'm going to pinch this rose. I'll just pop some roses on some little doilies with bulb pins. I thought they looked quite sweet. Yeah, could we? Do you know, could I even put the doily on? No, I don't think it goes, does it? I want just the rose. So, grab the rose. And do you know where I'm going to put the rose? On the end of my string. And I'm not going to add it on with anything fancy. I'm just going to tie it on. <laughs> work out how to do a knot. I can't even work out how to do a knot. Oh, lucky thumb. There we go. That's all I'm doing. And there we have our rose. Hey, considering I would not got a clue what I was going to do other than make an envelope, I'm quite happy with that. So, there we have it, my Miss Paint a lot. Take five challenge. Let's get the list. Let's see whether we're going to be rushing about, sticking some at random on it. Doily, check. Sticker, check. Charm, check. Washer, check. And we're calling that an em a pocket envelope. So that checks two boxes. So, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, <laughs> sorry about all the scattiness. I think my brain is a bit scattered because I'm nervous about going for that jab, actually. Yeah. I don't know why. It's not something you need to be nervous about, is it? But I am. I think it's because I've not been anywhere. This will be the furthest I've been in a year, yeah? Uh, it, my birthday this year, well, my birthday every year is on the same date. But my birthday will mark one year since the first lockdown of this pandemic, yeah? Because lockdown started on 23rd of March and my birthday was the 22nd. But we were still, we would, we did the lockdown early. As soon as we know it were coming, we did it there and then. 
So in effect, it's my second birthday in lockdown, but really it is my first birthday in official lockdown. And yeah, it marks one year of lockdown. And in that whole year, I've been shopping to my local shopping center once. And apart from that, I've been to the post office to post parcels and I've gone to the co-op to get bits and bobs at quiet times. And that's it. Not been anywhere else. Recently started walking to the post office with a friend just so that we get out of house. And it, it's funny to watch us. She's walking on a grass verge and I'm walking bang up against a wall to keep, we're still keeping our two metre distance outdoors. So if you're watching Jane, hello. Uh, I won't be going to post office today. I've got my jab. <laughs> well, I'll stop waffling now. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.